Hello everyone and welcome to another support video to help early career teachers. In this video we are going to consider a specific area of a subject with lots of related skills that many find challenging to teach and that my friends is reading. There is a massive emphasis on reading and being able to teach the specific skills which are linked to lots of different texts. So being able to prepare for this and understand what may lay ahead will certainly be an advantage to you. Firstly, reading skills. There is so many out there. What with sequencing, inference, fact retrieval, skimming, scanning, emphasizing, they're just a few of them. As adults, we tend to do these when we read without actually knowing it. The difficulty comes when trying to explicitly teach these skills. So to get ahead, do some reading around what these skills actually are. To be honest, it's about understanding which of these are important and working through them in a logical order to teach them. What do I mean by that? Well, I would certainly not teach my children the skill of inference if, for example, they're not particularly good at retrieving information or even understanding what's going on in a text. You're flogging a dead horse. Reading requires you to teach certain things in a logical order because you're actually building blocks to a higher level. Now, if you go back to one of the previous videos where I spoke a little bit about finding out about your curriculum and possibly looking at your overviews, look into the reading side of things. Try and find out what kind of texts or books that you may have to read this year or you've got to cover. And the reason I say that, because if you know what the text, the books that you're going to be covering are, it enables you to get ahead and possibly read some of them now. This will enable you to unpick any underlying themes, give you a, a really good understanding of what's going on, and that's going to help you come autumn term when you actually get into the nitty gritty of planning those reading sessions in a little bit more detail. Trust me, Knowing a book will make your reading sessions a lot more meaningful. You're more likely to ask the right type of questions during your reading sessions. Think about it, you're a step ahead. You're not deciphering the text along with the children because you've already done this prior to the session. Now within our NQT program, and if you are with us next year, we do have a dedicated session which will allow you to develop your subject knowledge within this particular area. Now is the time to go ahead and start looking at these and finding some possible ones that you may use and can be useful for your practice. And this is a really good tip. Getting an understanding of texts and skills is one thing. You may look into the useful games and strategies, but developing specific activities now is not necessarily needed. Your team, your year group, your colleagues, they will have no doubt already developed resources in which you could use. Don't be scared to ask them or consult with them. Tap into what they have. Also, if there is something that you don't know how to teach, get their advice. Okay, everyone, you've heard my top tips for getting you ready and things you can consider around reading for September. As always, stay tuned for the next installment of our mini-series videos. The next one, I think, is going to be released in a few days. If you're not subscribed, do get subscribed on the YouTube channel. That is the easiest way to find out when videos are released. As always, if you want to find any other information about us and the courses that we run, all the information is on our website, and we will link to that in the description. And we'll see you soon.